ninja weapons. Hmm. Let go. And this one. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> like two seconds ago, we were hitting every one of them. Huh? Like right there. Try one of those big ones. Oh, got it. Oh. Okay. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. he's frustrated now. <laughs> Why does he always land vertical like that? In the dirt. Ooh. That's just a landmine of sharp knives and axes. <laughs> there it is. See. Go. Stand right there for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Got him. You need some ninja stars. Yeah. Those things always stick. God, mm -hmm. knives are awesome. They're killing my board, man. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Doink. Ah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Hmm. Last throw. That's all you gotta make it count. Oh, Steve! You hit Let it. the whole team down. All these blades and no blood. Yeah. It was a key word. I'm like yeah. cursing like that. Yeah, Brandon. Put the jinx on me. Right. Christy, catch. <laughs> What's up, Internet? It is time for another Battle Box Breakdown. And we got Mission 60 this month. 60 months of... Jesus, Steve. Seriously, dude? Like, I'm in front of you, man. <laughs> You're the one that gets hurt all the time, not me. I've gotten good. I know, but... Dude. Uh... <laughs> I'm in front of you. This isn't smart. Oh, jeez. You're welcome. Dude, go eat some lunch or something. You don't need any help? No, I'll go eat lunch. It's like really dangerous. What are you doing? Lunch. You got an unboxing? I'm doing an unboxing video, Steve. Unboxing. I don't want cold onion rings. I just got them. That's pretty good. Mm. good. I mean, he took the whole freaking sound. Like, he didn't just take a bite. That means I get to go to lunch twice today. <laughs> What's up, Internet? <laughs> what we have here today? Neanderthal Steve here. Some onion rings. Y'all want to see his hair? It's a hair challenge. Uh, <laughs> look at that mug. I mean, I'm growing it out. I got right? some product on the way though. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say you got? He's got some, some product. product. What was it? Some pomade? Pomade. You're gonna look like Jesse James? I'm gonna slick it back. It'll be <laughs> awesome. Alright, take the food over. That, that was an excellent unboxing, Steve. Thank you for Ham and cheese on day. Swiss. Mm. Ooh, that's some good lemonade. Mm. So again, we got mission 60 and a little bit of sandwich in my belly and some onion rings. But I'm gonna break into the box right here. Mission 60, Battle Box. 60 months of Battle Box, man. 60 months, 2020 is going to... Steve, come on, man, quit freaking throwing knives at me. It's dangerous. $5 says he calls in sick tomorrow because that's the most he's ran in probably 30 years. As always, I've got the mission card right here. We got the basic, advanced, pro, and pro plus levels. And on the back, we've got the write up from yours truly. Be sure to read it. It's going to tell you all you need to know about the products in the four levels of Battle Box. So I'm going to put that right there. Hopefully, the wind won't blow it away. And we're going to jump in to the basic box. So, first up in the basic box is a Fiber Light Fire Starter Kit. Fiber Light. Check it out. So, this is a cool little kit right here from Fiber Light. You got a ranger band on here, so you can use that to help keep your tent closed or other uses, of course. They're very useful, so it's kind of cool that's in there. So you got your pretty decent sized ranger band there. And you've got a tin here, it's kind of similar to an Altoids tin. And on the inside, you've got a little 
ferro rod and striker here. That's actually pretty freaking cool how this thing comes together and it does a good job. And then you got the fiber light material right here. There's quite a bit of it. So this stuff is very flammable as you would expect from a fire starter. So you can just get you a little bit right there. It's very fibrous. That's why it's called fiber light. Here's your, your um, ferro rod and striker. The rod is actually across the bottom right here. And the striker nests inside. So it's a complete kit. You can keep it in this. It's also got a lanyard so you can hook it to other parts of your kit. Whoop, there we go. Got far. Don't light the rest of it on fire. So as you can see here, stays lit for quite some time, which you would kind of think from feeling it that it would burn out pretty quick, but it's actually stays lit for quite some time and it'll be a great, great way to help you get a fire going without using a lot of it. And then of course, when you use it all up, you got yourself a nice tin right here that you can use for a survival kit or you know, put more fire kit stuff in it. Maybe yourself a little fire kit there. So there is your fiber light fire starter with ferro rod and striker, yeehaw. So while we're talking about fire and fire starters, I'm gonna skip a few items and talk about something else in here because I think it's really cool when we're talking about fire, I get a little bit excited. So, so the fourth item, which I'm gonna mention second, is the parabolic mirror solar fire starter. So I like learning how to start fires primitive ways. I like learning how to do it the hard way, if you will. Trust me, things like these are great. I use them all the time, right? Because sometimes it's really hard to get a fire started other ways. But I like to, you know, practice new things and, and have many skills to be able to start a fire. And this thing right here is a lot of fun. In the right conditions, obviously, the sun's gotta be up, right? Um, can help you start an ember. And in the right conditions, if it's good and hot and the sun's nice and low and intense, you can actually start a fire directly to something like a piece of paper or a piece of, you know, take some bark off a tree and get it real fibrous and put it down in there or even start your fiber light with it. But what you got is a little spring here and another kind of spring type rig right here. You basically put that down inside of the other and you can screw that spring onto there. I don't know how well you guys can see that. And then this essentially fits inside your mirror. And there goes my, <laughs> my stuff. Thank you, Daniel. Put fiber light on there. <clears throat> so you just put, you know, your material, dry material right here, natural materials, or like I like to use char cloth. This thing started at ember and char cloth really, really quick. You just focus the sun. The sun's not out right now, it's behind a cloud. But you focus the sun to your uh, material and it starts to smolder and it'll create an ember. And then you can transfer that ember to a bird's nest or anything like that, feed it some oxygen and you got fire. And like I said, during the right conditions on a summer day when the sun's good and hot, you got a lot of good dry material, you can even light the material directly by using the sun's energy. You don't have to necessarily transfer that over to a, uh, a tender bundle. But really cool thing right here, um, it's a lot of fun. We get a ton of fun learning how to start a fire using a parabolic mirror. So that is your fourth but second mention in the basic box. Second on the list, but third item, is from Valley Food Storage, just Irish Pub Cheddar Potato Soup. This stuff is freaking delicious, man. I'm telling you, we, we try a lot of stuff. I've said that a million times, and this stuff is freaking great. So. It ain't in here. No. I got another box right here. Why is it not in here? Oh, it can't fit under that box. It's Valley Food Storage Irish Pub Potato Soup. 
two servings in this little rascal right here. So dehydrated food's a great thing to have while you're out backpacking, camping, and stuff like that. But it being delicious is something that you that you really need to have. Nutrition and delicious. So what are you doing that? You just had a sandwich. I'm having some Is food. that dude? Did you take that out of my box? I thought you already covered that. How did I, did I just? Uh... Did it's delicious. good, ain't it? <laughs> it's over real good. So this is the uh, potato soup that's supposed to be in my box. Steve, <laughs> like you're totally screwing my freaking vidya up. I thought, honestly, I thought you'd already covered that part. Well, regardless, dude, like, it's delicious. Take Steve's word for it. I mean, it does. Yeah. Oh, hey. beer. <laughs> Isn't it? I got... <laughs> Get out of here, man. <laughs> yeah, it's got corn in it, all the time. Good stuff in there, man. Old Steve, always eating. He's either sleeping, eating, or hurting himself and going to the ER. It's four things that Steve does. So that's your uh, second list item, third item in the basic box. Good stuff. So get your fire going, and you can cook you up some Irish pub cheddar soup right there, potato soup. Next up is the Battle Box Reversible. Come back, Steve. Come back, Steve. You done with your suit? Yeah. All right, I need your help on this one. Huh? Still in my beard. Oh, you're good. All right, so the next item is the Reversible Battle Box Beanie. Huh. That's what you need, because I just took yours off your head earlier. One size fits all. We'll see. We learned Steve, that is the untruth sometimes. Steve. <laughs> Steve has got literally the biggest melon of anybody I've ever met in my entire life. He's, he's got a giant <laughs> head. <laughs> he's holding this thing up. <laughs> Shoulders are so broad. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so here is the Battle Box reversible beanie right here. A lot of people want some Battle Box swag. They want some hats and things like that. So we figured it being winter time, a beanie would, would be good. And we got these Battle Box reversible beanies. So on one side, you've got the uh, Battle Box logo there, and then on the reverse, you got a different color with the Spartan helmet. And I will say, normally I have to cut a slit on one side. Yeah, he, yeah. Did so, you play football? yeah, put, custom order helmet. <laughs> <laughs> put that on your melon there, man, so everybody can see it, cover up all that hair. And the logo's about to. The, lo the logo's fixing the billboard size. Oh, yeah. But if it'll fit on his head, <laughs> it'll fit on yours. How big's the logo? Did it? <laughs> It's like battle box. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Let's see what I do. Let's see what it does to the Spartan helmet. Okay, All right. There's the logo. There you go. All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Keep your head warm. That yeah. square turned into a rectangle. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, man. All right. So that's your uh, battle box beanie. That is the next item in the basic box. <laughs> so I need I need it back so I can put it on the table so people can see. Thank you, buddy. Good job. A little stretched out a little bit. Yeah. So there you go, the Battle Box beanie. So the last item in the basic box is from Gear Aid. It's the Niglo gear marker. So a lot of us are really into EDC. This is kind of a cool way to kind of enhance your EDC or actually use it to mark gear while you're out in the wild doing all sorts of things, right? So um, it has material inside that is charged by solar or by a flashlight. You can take a flashlight, put on there, and it'll charge up and it will glow. And you can use this on the end of your fishing rods at night so that you can see the tip of your rod. If you're catfishing at night, you can mark gear in the woods at night. You can use it as a marker. Let's say you're, um, you're tracking a deer in the dark or whatever and you get the last blood, you can hang this up charge it up with your flashlight, hang it up on a limb to mark that spot. If you have to back out and wait a little bit longer so you can come back in and find that exact spot that there was last blood. Tons of options for this. And just for EDC, it's cool to hook the lanyards of wallets to knives and stuff like that. You know, there's different colors that are going to be coming out, so you can match it up to different colors, different type of EDC gear you may have. And it charges up and lasts quite a long time. So really cool item right here. It very, slow, very, very slowly fades away um, from intensity of the. Oh, that was Bullseye. Look at it. Bullseye. That was kind of impressive. <laughs> like, he, he, <laughs> stuck the handle in it. <laughs> Doesn't matter how it sticks, right? 
When you got it, you got it, son. Can you give him like something to do in the office? Or, like some rhythm? Like work. <laughs> <laughs> so again, you can use this for a keychain. You can use it on your tents. You can use it to hang in the woods for last blood. You can put it on your backpack, mark your backpack, different colors, different colors for different keys, whatever. But a really cool thing to EDC and use in the dark if you need a little illumination as a marker. So that is the final item in the basic box from Gear Aid. It's the Naglo gear marker. So in the advanced box this month, we've got one item and it is the DEFCON 5 Zulu throwing knife set. This thing right here is pretty cool. We've been having a lot of fun with these over the past few months, throwing at targets at my house that I've got. And now we got this one here at the office and for the past two days, I don't think we really got a whole lot of work done because we've been out here throwing axes and throwing throwing these knives but a really cool little kit right here and it's a lot of fun if you actually go out and do it this defcon 5 kit right here comes in this nice nylon little sheath system and carry system here it does have a belt loop if you get really good at it and you walk around with them on your on your hip but a great thing to throw in a pack you're at camp and there's a log out there or a tree that you can throw out just to have a good time with your buddies throwing knives you open it up and all three of the knives are individually separated here in these plastic sleeves. That way it doesn't poke through your nylon over time. And uh, it's just a lot of fun to get out there and learn a new skill. Heck, if, it, if you get good at it, if you practice enough and get good at it, and this is all you had to hunt with, I don't know, man, you might have some rabbit stew that night if you're really good with it. So we're gonna get back here and. Get Steve over here, we're going to throw a little bit. I don't know how you did that. Got you a little group going there. So these are great for many different things. So even if you live in an ur urban environment, if you got a little bit of a backyard, you can build yourself a target out of some pallet, like I did at home. I, I took a pallet and I put some two by sixes on the front of it. So I could throw knives, no, no big deal. So you don't need a whole lot of space to do this. It's a great thing to practice and have fun with. And when you get really good at it, which I have not yet got really good at it, I, I can do okay, but um, it's just a ton of fun. And then you can get you some axes and do the same. So, See, this is better, Steve, because I'm not over there while you're throwing it. It's like golf, dude, you gotta be quiet. Huh? Focus. Okay. And then you gotta be able to. <laughs> completely, completely <laughs> missed. I mean, that wasn't my fault. I, you were talking while I was okay, trying to Okay, I'm throw. sorry. You got to step into it a little bit. Go get that one for me. <laughs> no, I'm not going down there when you got another one in your hand. <laughs> ah. All right, Steve. You got to find the... <laughs> there it is. I've been working out, and I hadn't, like, I hadn't adjusted my strength yet. Oh, <laughs> that's, what that's what it is, right? <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh. oh. Barely. I think I can do better with this. Oh. You put that one on the shelf. That one. <laughs> it's on the shelf, he said. <laughs> it's, it's, it's literally just laying in there. <laughs> 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 one each. One each. Whoever gets the closest <laughs> gets free pepper jacks tomorrow. Free pepper jacks tomorrow. I'm going first. Ah. Y'all know I love these pepper jacks too. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, Dang. Steve. Dang. Oh. oh. We got to break out a tape. <laughs> too close. It's like. <laughs> Where do you measure from? What are we gonna call the center? Ow! Oh, don't stab yourself. Uh, dude, they're like dead the same. Throw off. It's a throw off. It's a throw off. <laughs> it's in the tree over there. <laughs> That's how you play horseshoes. Like, if well, he, that didn't count. If he, if he sticks it, he wins. If he sticks it, he wins. Oh! oh Steve's got to buy Daniel lunch tomorrow. No. Yeah. He 
you're you're the loser loser though. Like you didn't even make it to the you didn't make it to the final. Steve's that kid that like makes up his own rules when he 100%. plays. One hundred percent. Monopoly and shit. Win. We let the boss win. I mean, you know this. We let the boss win. So therefore, he gets to buy lunch. Oh, so the winner buys lunch. Yes. No, oh, okay. Freedom. So there was a short example of some guys having some fun throwing some throwing knives there. So a lot of fun. Go outside, build yourself a target. It don't have to be something elaborate like this. Just some pallets and some wood or an old stump. Get out, learn how to throw your knives and get your friends involved. It's a lot of fun. So that is the advanced box item, the DEF CON 5 Zulu throwing knives. So next up is the Pro Box. And in the Pro Box, we've got one item and it has been 59 months ago since we had an item like this. So mission one, all right? It is a solar bank with wireless charging. So this is from Survival Frog. Check it out. So here's your box. You open it up. This this ain't this ain't your typical solar bank right here. Solar charger. This thing right here is freaking sweet. All right. So you got yourself a cable here so that you can charge this via an outlet in your home or office. But you got a nice leather case there. You got two carabiners with buttons. Look at that. Solar charger. So you got four solar panels here that charges the solar bank. So you can hang this on a pack. You can set it on a table at camp or whatever. You can carry this thing around with you in your normal EDC so that you can charge up your, your power bank, charge up your cell phones, you can fold it back up. It's got a flashlight on the back, but the really cool thing is this thing also will be held up by magnets. All right, so this is the only thing steel we got around. So let's say side of a car, on the hood of a vehicle, something like that, you wanna sit it down. You want to stick it to the side of a metal, you know, I-beam or something. Boom. It's got magnets in the back of it. How cool is that? So you got all sorts of different ways that you can. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What you, you see what I got to deal with on a daily basis? Eh. Two. USB ports right here, so you can charge two USB devices, and then there's your charging port there in the center uh, so that you can plug it into a wall outlet if you want to. It doesn't come with the power brick, so you just use one that you already have, just plug this into it. Five lights right here, one green and four blues. The four blues shows your, um, your battery level, and the green shows that it is getting um, solar charging at that time. So, let's also, Equally as cool as the magnet, maybe more cooler, more cooler. <laughs> more cool, even cooler. I don't know. <laughs> even even cooler. cooler? Oh, that, weird. Mo better, mo, mo better. better. We'll even more better than the uh, than the magnet, in my opinion, is the wireless charging capability. So if your phone can do wireless charging, you simply just turn on the power. You'll see your battery level and then set your phone on there and it starts charging. Yeehaw. If you long press the, uh, the power button there, your flashlight will turn on. So it's a nine LED flashlight. It also does SOS. Check that out. So, you know, you can SOS people. <laughs> <laughs> SOS, I'm running out of battery. Oh, wait a minute. I can charge it. <laughs> and it also has a disco light. <laughs> That's your pro item for this month. Mission 60 of Battle Box is a survival frog solar charging, wireless charging power bank right here. I'll hold that, Brent. <laughs> Go, girl. So now it's time for the Pro Plus, the knife of the month. This month we've got a knife from. Lord and Field is called the Poseidon. It's a professional fillet knife. This thing right here is really nice. So here's the packaging here. I got one in the mystery spot I'm gonna show you. So we've got a nine inch blade, 
We've got a five inch handle here. The handle is actually made out of cork and micarta. So you got micarta here on the ends and you got cork in the middle, which is really cool. Um, kind of gives a vintage fishing feel. A lot of handles on the fishing rods were cork back then. Um, and you got a nice leather sheath right here. It's 440C stainless steel. Stay. I'm gonna close the box so it don't blow away. Um, got one down here in a mystery spot. So here it is in the sheath. So a really nice sheath right here. Kind of a unique way that it uh, stays in the sheath. It's got the leather strap with a, with a button here on top. That button's to the, the butt of the knife right there. Check that out. So it's got a nice long uh, blade right there so you can fillet um, small fish like pan fish, stuff like that, brim and crappy, but also larger fish if you like to saltwater fish and you catch uh, Spanish mackerel, which is probably one of my favorite saltwater fish. Um, this is great for filleting out Spanish mackerel. It's got good flex to it that you want with a fillet knife. And again, it's got this really unique cork handle with a micarta accenting the front and the rear of the handle right there. Really nice. A thing that's really cool about this as well is a lot of people, they clean fish on the dock. Um, uh, I grew up pier fishing at the coast with my dad. We always cleaned our fish right there on the pier. So if you were to drop this in the water, it actually floats. <laughs> so the cork, it'll float like this. You'll be able to retrieve your knife if you do drop it in water. So really nice knife, really good flex so that you can get down and fillet the fish, and it's really sharp. It's really freaking sharp. So this knife is very reminiscent from a knife that we have in our antique collection here. Daniel, um, he, he's got a lot of knives, <laughs> and he actually has a lot of old school knives that he finds on the internet and buys. Um, it's very similar to an old knife design uh, from the 60s. Uh, this is a fishmonger knife. Um, this has a wood handle on it, but as you can see, it's got a crook in the blade right there. So this was designed, uh, they had right hand and left handed ones. So uh, a lot of people that worked in fish markets used knives like these to help fillet fish. And some people like to use their left hand, some like to use their right hand. So there was different blades for different uh, directions that you want to fillet a fish. So very reminiscent of that. Got a little bit longer blade. But this one, if you're right-handed or left-handed, you can use it. This one, not so much. I mean, I guess you could, but it's more prone to be used a certain way. Hello, buddy. What's up, man? Your knife. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? No, dude, it ain't a throwing, Steve, it's not a throwing knife. Dude, it's a freaking fillet knife, man. Why are you out here with throwing knives and you show me a knife that's not a throwing knife? Because it's a freaking fillet knife, dude. <laughs> Seriously? I'm Steve. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's durable. Yeah. <laughs> now I want to throw it. I'm going to throw it this way. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> I didn't either. I kind of feel bad that I did that, but. Steve, you need to practice, man. Yeah, I do. You got some blue paint on it, Steve. Yeah. So that's your uh, Poseidon, not throwing knife, <laughs> but fillet <laughs> knife, but I guess if you had to throw it, you could. Um, but yeah, it's durable. It is extremely sharp. You killing me, Steve. Yeah, I kind of need that. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. So that's Mission 60 of Battle Box, folks. Really cool box this month, the second box of 2020. So we started it off in the basic box right here item with the Battle Box reversible beanie right here. A lot of people been wanting Battle Box hats and stuff, so being wintertime, we figured we uh, give you a reversible beanie right here that's really nice, help keep you melon nice and warm, even if it's as large as Steve's. We've got ourselves a solar charger right here that's got four solar panels, 
wireless charging, it's magnetic, it's got ways that you can affix this to packs or any other gear that you may need. Really, really nice solar charger right there. We got the fire kit here from Fiberlite that comes with a pretty good amount of fire starter on the inside. It just takes a little bit, folks. This will last you a long time. And a really nice, small, compact um, ferro rod and striker. We've got the Valley Food Storage uh, potato soup, the Irish Pub potato soup. That's extremely good. It's Steve approved, and I promise you he only eats really good stuff. Just look at him. He eats a lot of it. But we've got the uh, two serving pack right here. It's small, compact, won't take up a lot of space in your backpack, and it tastes delicious. We've got the DEFCON 5 Zulu throwing knives right here. Really encourage you to get outside with your family and friends and throw some knives. It's a ton of fun and a great skill to learn. We've got the Niglo um, from Gear Aid, a great little thing here to add to your EDC, to your keys. You can use it to uh, put on gear so that you can see it at night. You can use it to hang up the signal and all sorts of really cool stuff. And uh, it comes in multiple colors, so you may not get green. You may get a yellow or a blue. Solar fire starter right here. Really cool thing for you to get out and try. Like I said, it's kind of seasonal and the sun needs to be up, but a really cool way to help you start an ember on almost any kind of dry and fibrous material. And it works great with char cloth if you like to start fires with char cloth and uh, tinder bundle. And then last but not least, the Lord and Field Poseidon, the nine inch professional fillet knife. It's really freaking sweet. Cork handle with micarta, nine inch blade, really flexible, stupid sharp and you can actually throw it at a throwing target. <laughs> As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to follow us here on YouTube and on Facebook, and check us out at our website, battlebox.com, B-A-T-T-L-B-O-X.com, and I'll see you next month with Mission 61. Peace out, Cub Scouts. It's getting chilly outside. I'll take that so Steve don't. All right, guys, they've left me alone with some gear. Daniel's always wanting to get out of the office and go test some gear, so here we go. All right, here we go. Listen to it ringing. You hear? It's yeah. ringing. I mean, that's one way to test product, but. Dude, it's like. You, 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 they're all over it. <laughs> Look at this. Man, I'm, my feelings are kind of hurt about this, man. That's one way to see what something's made of, I guess. Let's see if the flashlight still works. Flashlight still works. <laughs> I think that's pretty well severed. <laughs> what? What? What She's did it say? She sounds That's proof the government's listening to us all the time. I'm not talking to you, Siri. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs>